Okay, all right. So we're in the third uh, installment video. Um, I want to keep this around 20 minutes. We'll see what happens, right? Um, the only thing I plan ahead is my trades. <laughs> um, the other things, I don't plan that much ahead, I guess. Um, but no, I do. Um, this one, I want to be able to get um, every possibly um, everything that I can, every angle, you know, every uh, way that I can express and show you, you know, what um, what I'm doing, what's happening. Um, as I grow, you know, as I continue uh, the path of day trading, uh, day trading forex. So um, next, I want to give you, I want to show you the app itself. Okay, I think it would help you more than just telling you. Um, so I opened it up uh, on my browser. So let's go there. Okay, so here we are. Um, I wanted to bring up my screen. Uh, at least some of it. <laughs> I didn't even. I changed the size. So wait a minute. Maybe I can move. Let's move this into the uh, section, into my recording section, if I can, or something like that. Okay. All right. This is the. This is where um, I have. One of my apps that I use, I used to, well, I used to with a, two harmonic apps. This one, um, now to find them, I don't, you can use different ways. I mean, to, to find them, I use, I like to use my trading, my um, trading, trading view. I like to use that. Um, I don't use these for the notifications um, simply because, uh, number one, um they when the harmonic when the harmonic forms up it can be pretty quick as far as um it reaching the target um and then also it's not that many pips really um reaching the target i mean it's pips or pips but you know i'm used to i what gets me excited is going for the larger trade i mean that's just where i am you know i like to get trades 60 doesn't 60 pips does not get me excited 100 pips no i mean I, li I like to see 200 you know 300 those those are the ones that i'm really i just like doing um or more you know we've done uh one on gbp jpy which is going on now is now 400 pips into the to the trade you know we're going for 2137 pips you know um uh and, you know, I'm on here and I was coming up here uh, to do this. The guy says, oh, you know, you're bragging. I had bought this. I saw this. I saw this come up. And it's like, and it's down here. I, you know, I like to uh, celebrate. Uh, and then also like to hopefully get more students and people that, oh, how, you know, they ask, they ask questions like, oh, hey, how'd you do it? You know, and then I can help them. And then you get those that, of course, they don't know what your purpose is they assume that they know what your purpose is and they say oh you know you're bragging they say, they say well done dude you have to use some ass see this is this is a guy who wants people to do good you know it's not and then and you get these people that aren't too happy and then they come up and uh they say oh dude you know you're bragging dude or whatever. I don't know how to, I'm not even talking. Hey, dude, you drive your bag and dude. You know, but they do that. They're not, it's a, it's the hurting inside. That's, that's the thing is that they're just hurting inside. Let me see if I can find it. I had to bring up the notification. Um, where is it? Uh, is this? Hold on. It's one of these. Is it this one? Isn't this the one over here? Did he erase it? Yeah, I had hit 9.7%. So, 
Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's Yeah, he must he might have erased it. Is it somewhere in here? He might have erased it. Cause I don't see it. I don't see it, but let's see, is it on my it's on my phone? Yeah, it was the um the one that says it says the count the count the twelve it has the twelve and then it's six replies. Well I have replied or something, right? Oh he replied and then I replied. Yeah, they look yeah, they look up. It says, I see I see you everywhere bragging about your trades. Stay humble. No one cares about you. See you everywhere. Well, you better get ready, bro. I'm about to be everywhere. Brag, bragging or celebrating? You know, it's bragging, of course, you know. It's to, to him because he's hurting. So to him, it's just it's too much. Uh, about your trades. Stay humble, dude. Stay humble. Look, I do well because I'm humble. You see what I'm saying? I do well because I'm, I want to share, uh, I want to share what I've learned. I don't need them to care because I care about myself. You know, I don't need them to care. I care about myself. Um, uh, I care about them. I don't need them to care about me. I care about others. I don't need others to care about me. So, but hey, you know, I, I want to help him. So, is it also, he's like solid advice, solid. Yeah, man, he's bragging. And, you know, they're hurting. I need to help them. So, they're not going to teach you, you know, then you can brag in your wins also. I mean, how about that? I mean, let's both win, right? Thanks for letting me know. You see me everywhere. It's going to get worse. Just letting you know. Get ready. <laughs> Yeah, get ready. Um, you're gonna start seeing me everywhere. Um, as time goes on. Okay, moving on. So, um, when you see this, okay, this means um you're gonna be better off trading the uh, harmonic patterns. You know when they're trading, when they're when they're when they're ranging, and they're going you know sideways. Over overall, I mean sideways. Define sideways. Um, you know, you zoom out of sideways, you zoom in, it looks like it's up and down. I mean, everything is really sideways, but depending on your time frame, okay. Uh, on that particular time frame, uh, the trend is weak. This is the H1. You want to trade these instead of the patterns, just the regular patterns, like the triangle, the double bottom and the double top, things like that. Um, so this is what you want to do. Well, this is what I do. I mean, I go. I might check your notifications. I look at this and get the little reward risk factor. A lot of these will work out. A lot of these won't work out. A lot of them will work out before they fail and come back in the middle. But they all eventually do uh, work out. I go to monitor, right? My set, I'll show you my settings. I go to monitor. And load, load. Get loading. Oh yeah, that's another thing is that a lot of these, a lot of Forex, uh, uh, courses, um, or Forex, I would say just like kind of the, yeah, the courses that are on YouTube, right? Um, I wanted to find a course that one that I was interested in and one that I, you know, I felt, you know, excited about. And the person was speaking English where I could understand what they're saying. You know, a lot of times they may have a strong accent and it makes it very difficult. For Americans or people like me, I guess, um, to follow every word that they're saying. Sometimes I miss a word or something like that. It just makes it, just makes it that much more difficult, um, keeping up with what they're saying, what they're trying to explain. And they have different ways of explaining things. I mean, this is why you have different teachers, have different teachers, different students, and people can find the teacher that, that fits them. Like, I may not be the right teacher for you. Like, even though, even though I know that anyone could actually, you know, make money with the trading, with the trading strategy, I may not be, you know, the voice that, uh, you would be comfortable with. I mean, maybe, you know, my voice is crap. Maybe it's horrible. Or maybe I speak too loud. Or maybe I speak too, 
I don't know. Or maybe speak to, you know, New Yorker. Like, I, I don't know. Okay. So we all have to find, you know, criticizing, you know, is just a perspective. But it's all criticisms untenable. In other words, there's always something that can be said for everything. And unsaid. And, and, and rebutted. You know what I mean? Um, what's, what's, you know, bad for one person is good for another. You know, what's trash for one, one guy is gold for a different person. So, you know, these, like, you take these, I mean, these are down here. It tells you, um, why is it so small? Oh, oh, because the way I have the screen set. Um, is there a way to move this up? Cause, cause usually this is more spaced out. Oh, because I have my, um, it's because it's, it's this in whole setting I have. If I would make it, if it were 1080p, it would be different. Um, I don't have it on that setting where I'll have my whole screen, a lot of my screens out of this recording section. But look down here, you can click failed. It gives you the date. I don't look at that. Really. It gives you the date. You know, these are trashed by this. They said, oh, it's failed. You know, they move on. It's my goal. You know, their trash is how I'm making pips. They're, they're trashed, ignored, uh, plays become gold later for, for me. So here you want to zoom out. Look at this. It's, it hits a certain point. Then it turns into this. Look. Higher swing lows, higher swing highs. It does this. But it, what happens is, is you're going to notice a pattern that as you see these more and more, they're going to, I like the ones that go straight out. They just don't do all this, but go straight out. I love those. It's going to be like 300 pip trade for you. Um, here, down here. Okay. You're going to see a point where they just don't go any further, where that, that is the bottom. Okay. I don't know if that actually looks like a head and shoulders, but a lot of times, if you look at the bar chart, the line chart, the bar chart, you'll notice it's a head and shoulders uh, move uh, on the hour time frame. And then you'll, you'll see this. When you begin to see this, okay, know that this is where it's going, right to that target, okay? So all of this, you want to capture. You know, you want to be in, when it pulls back and it pulls down on a, on a, on a, on a bullish harmonic, you want to see that thing, okay? This rip, that was like 78 pips. That wasn't much. Something like that. It went from here. It's like, it was 100 pips. Okay, it was 100 pips. So that's better. That that beats this. That beats you going what? Getting 40 pips or so, 35, whatever. It's, it be, it's so much better. We want these things to fail, okay? You want them to fail, and and a fail and then return. What you want to do is look for a top and a bottom. I mean, it's just we'll see. It's just super easy. Like, it's so easy. It's so easy. Once you know, once you have a, once you've seen it, here it is. Usually, there's a bar that matches. There's a spike in a a following bar that that matches to get. It's almost like an engulfing. But it's not an engulfing, doesn't need to be. Um, this is somewhat of a, almost, to me, a head and shoulder. See, I gotta see it on a, it looks like a head and shoulders. But anyway, I always look for like a top to happen, okay? You want that top to happen. Sometimes it'll double top, okay? You see a double top or you see a bearish ABCD. This is probably an ABCD. I think this is an ABCD pattern. Bearish ABC. You see that form up, you know that is it is headed towards down here. Okay, to come down to so simple. So simple. So simple. And it's time to get in. This is see, this is what's so good about not following the notifications. You have time to get in. Look at this. This was the this is this is it. This was the top. Now this one is gonna do these spikes. You gotta get that very top a lot of time. You don't wanna be up here. I mean, you really wanna be back here. But keep your stop loss tight, you know, and it come back here, reshort, reshort it or rebuy it. This is the buy. 
rebuy it, okay? But it pulled back. The more it pulls back, the better it is. Look at that. 200 pips. See? This is what I've been telling you guys about, okay? So in our next section, it's all about survival, okay? Trading skills grow and improve with repetition. Many people who were working jobs before the pandemic and lost their jobs due to restrictions, and then also uh, are now losing even more jobs due to government intrusion into the private sector and telling corporations to hire and fire, uh, we are quickly coming under fascism. So as a result, more and more are looking for alternatives to survive against all of that. It really is like a death sentence when the likelihood is taken away. It's, it is now more important than ever to disconnect from the ma that matrix and become more self-sufficient. Trading is one of those ways to do it, no matter what kind of positions you may hold and all of this. Okay, this, all of us, all must, I meant all of us, but all must find their way to survive. This is what I'm helping you with. Helping you survive and fighting back on your own self-sufficiency. There will always be corruption and scams. You must educate yourself so that you don't feed the fascist monkey or the political monkey the self-destruction mechanisms that are used against us. Used against our survival. Okay? So, my advice to you now is to put it on repeat. And what I mean by that as I said before, repetition is a must when you're looking to improve. When I was failing trades, I would push that must harder to learn. Uh, uh, hypothecate, uh, harder to learn, push that. I don't know, I probably got it, yeah. Oh, that much harder. I said must, huh? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, no edits. I'm not doing any re edits. This is just going to be fresh. This is going to be, you know, raw, uncut. Okay. This is me. <laughs> I would push that much harder to learn, hypothecate questions, come up with solutions, theorize and research. These are things you must do in order to find out the patterns that continuously repeat themselves. The reason trading is so tough is because there are so many variations to that repeating pattern you must identify. There are thousands of trading patterns and thousands more yet to be discovered. Our patterns are based on Fibonacci, Elliott Wave, Ichimoku Clouds. It's also, there are also, um, other pattern, others, uh, out there as well that I haven't named, but we're on a quest for excellence and profits. This is purely, uh, a technical approach, uh, when it comes to this course. Set up your tradingview.com chart and go back a few years. Then look at the hourly. No, narrow it down. Go down to the hourly and watch it. The lower time frames. Put it on replay and watch it for, for hours and hours nonstop. You will notice things you've never seen before. This is what I did. Okay. So, all right. We're already hitting about 18 minutes here. So, on the next one, okay, the video four, we're going to go further uh, into the course. I'm going to try to do a few a few more charts. Look at some some charts. Okay, so um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.